Hey guys, it's Rich with another Wellness Wednesday video. Even though this video is coming up late and I will explain why in a Stitch and Witch vlog on yet more updates. So, anyway, this week I wanted to talk about diet plans and exercising and stuff like that. <sighs> what else would you expect from a Wellness Wednesday video? So, for me, I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but for me, I absolutely despise gyms. For the Air Force, we get our uh, gym membership basically for free. We can go to the gym, uh, depending on what base you're at. Sometimes you can go to them, you know, day or night, it doesn't matter. But some bases have restrictions on times and stuff like that. Anyway. But I know for some of you guys out there, gym membership is quite expensive. I've never felt comfortable in a gym. For some reason, there is always a smell that I can't quite identify. There's weird machines. It's either too hot or too cold. Um, it just doesn't feel comfortable. And then, I don't know if the females out there are the same, but in a men's locker room, you always have that one old guy that decides to, excuse my language, free ball all over the place in the gym just for, you know, craps and giggles. So I've never really felt good going to a gym. Now granted, if it was a guy around my age that was quite fit and whatnot, I wouldn't complain so much about that, but anyway, all the other points are still the same just never really felt quite comfortable going to a gym. <sighs> and that brings me into my exercise plan. This is one that I've tried before. I used to weigh 245 pounds. I got deployed to Qatar for four months, and I followed this diet plan pretty much to a T, more or less. But I did the exercises, and I dropped 20 pounds. I absolutely love the exercises in this because you don't have to go to a gym for probably, I venture to say, at least 98 to 99% of all the exercises in it. And it is the abs diet. Um, like I said, I do love the exercise plan in this. I, however, do not necessarily like the diet plan. The actual diet that goes with the abs diet. It's kind of regulated to protein intake and stuff like that, nuts, berries, stuff like that. But it also focuses on, you know, balancing out the food groups, all that stuff. But for me, it constantly felt like I was just grazing all the time. Now, granted, I will take some pointers from this and keep more or less to that diet plan. But as for keeping to the actual specific diet plan that it says to, not going to happen. Instead, what I'm doing is, with doing this diet plan and doing other diet plans and, and just knowing what my body can and cannot intake and how much I can and cannot intake, keeping an eye on that stuff, for the most part I eat somewhat healthy. My portion sizes should be smaller, so that's something I'm correcting. And I'm not cutting out the indulgences. I'm not going to cut out cookies or I'm not going to cut out, you know, sweets here and there out of my diet plan completely because anytime I personally cut out anything specific whenever it comes to my diet, I find myself wanting it more. It's the instance of you can't have it, so you naturally want it more. So for me, I'm not cutting out cookies, I'm not starving myself, I'm just cutting back on how much I eat, making sure that I eat to be content and not to be full, which is a struggle, at least for many Americans out there. We are constantly taught to eat until we're full, until we can't consume any more. I, I heard a phrase today uh, while I was sitting outside, you know, indulging in another one of my vices, smoking. And uh, 
I was sitting out there and I heard somebody say, you eat until you hate yourself. That's how you eat. And I wasn't part of the conversation and it just really got to me. I'm like, no, that's not what you do. You eat until you're content, until your body is nourished. You eat until you are fulfilling your nutritious value, not necessarily to eat until you are full, which is a big misconception for many people out there. You eat a little bit and you rest. You let your body rest into that cycle. And if you need to eat a little bit more, go ahead and do it. But that's what I'm focusing on for my diet plan. So for me, exercises with this, nutrition intake, like I said, I usually eat fairly healthy, but I do like to indulge in some of the uh, like donuts and, you know, cookies, cakes, stuff like that. But I'm portioning out how much I eat. Instead of eating a plate of donuts in one day, I may eat one donut or two if I really feel like I'm okay with it. It's something to just recognize whenever I'm doing it or whenever I'm about to indulge that, yes, I am intaking this and how will I feel afterwards? Will I hate myself for it? Or is the trade-off the loving myself enough to intake that and be fulfilled by that for even a little bit to enjoy those indulgences, even in small portions? So portion control is something that I'm working on. And also, I'm doing proof of my weight loss, weight gain, uh, the way I look. I did take pictures whenever I started. Uh, I think I took them last last Monday or last Wednesday, something like that, somewhere around there. I took pictures and I took my weight a couple weeks back. I was at 195. So I will be tracking my weight. I, I am not going to do a weigh-in every single week. I only have five months left here in Korea, or at least I hope so. More to be covered on a stitch and witch on that one. Uh, but as of right now, I only have five more months left of being in Korea. So I took pictures and depending on how I feel about sharing those pictures, I might share them in the future, but not right now. Uh, I will probably take pictures again at the two and a half month mark, another weigh in at that time as well. And at the five month mark, right before I'm getting ready to leave here to do a final weigh in and a final photo shoot of how I look, how I feel and give you guys an update on that. Then I can't stress enough how important it is to find a diet plan that works for you. Um, a, an exercise plan that works well for you. Again, like I said in the, in the disclaimer, uh, consult a physician before going on any diet or exercise regimen. With anything like this, now there, while I'm thinking of it, there is a women's version of the abs diet that if this intrigues you, go ahead and go find that because there are certain exercises or certain diets that pertain more to a female figure than to a male figure. Certain things that should be less and certain things that should be more for both males and females. So it depends on your gender as well and different body types and whatnot. So I can't stress enough, find a doctor that can either tell you, yes, this diet plan will work for you, or no, this is not necessarily what you want to go for. Also, keep in mind whenever you're looking at exercise plans of any physical limitations that you have, if you have a disability in one way or another, if you're not able to use dumbbells, like as for the abs diet, most of the exercises in here that I, that I use are all home-based. You don't have to go to a gym for most of these. 
and I use regular 10 pound dumbbells. It's more for the resistance than it is for the weight. So also check with the doctor on any physical limitations that you may have for doing any free weight lifting or walking limitations, anything like that. Check with the doctor on that stuff. Also check with the doctor on any foods that you should or should not be eating. A doctor can help you know what types of foods that you should be intaking. And if while you're with your doctor, they can tell you of any dietitians out there that they recommend that you can work hand in hand with. If you're really serious about getting your weight under control, uh, a dietitian that can work hand in hand with your doctor can help you set those goals and set your, uh, your diet plans for you to keep to. And that's another thing I want to say about planning out your diet regimen is set your goals in small increments. Now, I was talking to somebody today and we were talking about how I want to get back to the weight that I was whenever I left basic training, which was 165 pounds. That's a 30 pound difference. Like I said, I used to be 245 pounds. So going from 245 to 165 is a big jump if I decided to lose it all at once or set that goal as, you know, a short term goal. It is definitely a long term goal. This is something that I've been doing or on the track of doing since 2009. So yeah, I've been doing this for a good seven years. It's a long-term goal. It's not something that I can wake up tomorrow and be 165 again. It really isn't a realistic view. So whenever you're planning your diet, plan it in small increments. Say, you know what? This month, I want to lose two pounds this month, or I want to lose five pounds this month. Shooting for a healthy weight goal of a weight loss, if you're looking to lose weight, is definitely a good idea to look at small increments. You gain more of that satisfaction, you have an easier way to strive to it, and you feel more accomplished. If you set your goal at losing 10, 15, 20 pounds, that, those are unrealistic goals for one, and they're unhealthy goals for another. You don't want to lose that much weight in that small of a time span because it's just regularly unhealthy for most people, and most doctors will also agree on this. So, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm definitely not your doctor, so... <laughs> Definitely consult a doctor for that stuff as well. But most doctors would tend to agree that losing that much weight in that small of a time span is generally unhealthy. So if you're looking to lose weight, go in small increments. Two pounds, five pounds, ten at max, I would say. And that's my uneducated opinion. Um, those are usually good ranges that I've seen. And those are usually ranges that can usually be hit pretty well. So if you're looking to lose weight, those are general good guidelines that I've seen that work fairly well for me. So if that works well for you, great. If not, then like I said, consult a doctor, find a diet plan that works good for you. Like I said, I do recommend that if this intrigues you, go ahead out there and pick up this book. Um, it's probably a lot cheaper than what it was whenever I got it. Uh, and you can find it used on Amazon. So yes, definitely if you are intrigued by this, if you want to know more about the exercises in this book, I may show some exercises referencing to this book. So I may show those in the future. And uh, yeah, like I said, there is a women's version and, and there is a cookbook that goes along with it so you can plan meals out if you would like to go with a certain meal plan that works well with this book or if you just want to have a cookbook that's generally healthy food that is quite delicious, I would say. 
I don't have the cookbook with me, but I do own it, and I do enjoy some of the meals that are prepared through that. So I do suggest if you are looking for a good, healthy cookbook, the Abs Diet Cookbook, or even the Weight Watchers Cookbook is another one that I would highly recommend because they're healthy, they're geared towards health, and they are pretty delicious. So, and they have um, just good proportion sizes. Whenever they give a portion size, it's a good size for losing weight or somebody that's just generally doing exercises, wanting to cut back on a healthy portion to intake into their body. Again, your body might be different. You might require more depending on your body type, your metabolism, stuff like that. So whenever doing a cookbook routine like that, also consult a doctor seeing if that is enough uh, calorie intake and uh, nutrition intake for your body type. So with that, I think that's all that I have for this week. Until next time, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. If you would like to see the short abridged version of this article, go ahead and go to crystalpaganism.com. You can find it there. And, and as always, if you would like to stalk me on Twitter, go ahead and do that over here. Uh, I haven't been posting on there as much lately because, because my day-to-day -day phone is broken. So, yeah, I'm getting it fixed. And uh, whenever I do get it fixed, I post some inspirational stuff. I post some stuff about my daily life. And uh, I post some blogs that people that follow me might be interested in. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter if that is something you would like to do. Until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.